Steve Sands is the anchor of Golf Central on Golf Channel. Steve, the Masters is one of golf's four major tournaments. Do you think Augusta is a smart choice for Tiger Woods to ease back into the sport? I do, Katie. I think it's a perfect place for him to come back and reemerge as a public figure. First of all, for golf reasons, it's the place where he's the most secure. Inside the ropes, you cannot get inside the ropes at Augusta National like a regular PGA Tour event. As far as the media is concerned, Augusta National members do a tremendous job keeping the fray out, if you will. I think it's a great place for him to come back. Tiger Woods, as you know, hasn't played in a tournament in about four months. How hard will it be for him to come back and play, well, like Tiger Woods? Well, I think for him to come back and play at a high level with such a long absence would be absolutely amazing. But we've lost out on how to describe how amazing Tiger has been on the golf course, Katie, over the years. So it's kind of up to him to decide whether or not he's ready to play after such a long absence. But if he says he's ready to go when he gets to Augusta National, you have to believe him. How important is it for him to play really, really well? Well, it's important for a number of reasons. One is I think that the longer he plays at a high level, the quicker the American public will get him back into the good graces. The other thing, I think, is that for the game of golf, it obviously means a lot. For CBS, for us at Golf Channel, the ratings will be much higher with him in the game than it has been without him in the game. And I think that if he can get back to playing at the high level that we're all accustomed to, I think all of the things that have happened in the last three and a half months will go away a lot quicker. Is it realistic to expect a win in Wood's first tournament back? Well, boy, I don't know. I'd love to run to Vegas if I knew that answer, Katie. But I, I do think that, you know, Tiger has said through the years that he doesn't play unless he's ready. And I think that because he's won the green jacket at Augusta National four times in his career, he's been a runner-up the last two of the last three years he's been to Augusta. I just can't imagine that he wouldn't be the favorite going in, even though he hasn't been playing competitive golf for a long time. But the odds are that he would not be able to win in his first tournament out. You told us just a few minutes ago the Masters is known for its tightly controlled access, but how do you think he'll do outside this atmosphere at a regular PGA tournament? Well, I think that depending on how he reacts to some of the heckling, if you will, depending on how he reacts to some of the more mainstream media as opposed to just the sports media, the golf media, and selected sports columnists around the country who are invited to, uh, to cover the Masters. I think when he gets to a regular PGA Tour event, Katie, I think it's all up in the air. And I think that, again, not only will his play decide what the public thinks of him, but I think the way he reacts to some of the crazy questions that are inevitable because of what's taken place over the last three and a half months, That'll go a long way to deciding whether or not the American public brings him back into the good graces as well. How do you think the crowd will treat him? Well, at Augusta, I think they'll treat him very well, and I think uh, we'll have very few incidents. I think when he gets to a PGA Tour event, you know, it's not hard to get into a PGA Tour event, Katie. A regular person can buy a ticket and can basically do whatever he and she wants Obviously, there's going to be beefed up security when Tiger's playing, especially since what's happened. But, you know, one of the beauties of golf compared to team sports is that you're right there. If you're a fan and you want to watch Tiger Woods or any other player on the PGA Tour, the only thing that, that stands between you and the player himself is a little rope. And I don't think they're going to put up barriers. They're not going to be fences. It's still going to be the same scene. So whether we see a, a person run out into the, the playing field, if you will, or onto the fairways or the greens, I, I would imagine something like that would happen or some planes flying above that have signs on them like you see at beaches everywhere around the country. I think that'll happen too, but it, it's hard to say right now. He's a pretty controlled person and chances are, I mean, it's likely he'll know how to handle that kind of heckling, don't you think? I mean, he seems to be quite good under pressure and I can't imagine he'll let it get under his skin, can you? I don't think it'll get under his skin. I think it'll bother him internally, but I think he's smart enough to know, and the people around him are smart enough to know, that the way he reacts to some of the craziness over the next few months is going to be incredibly scrutinized. Look, Katie, he's been deflecting our questions for years, <laughs> so I would think he would be able to handle some, some people who come in and out of PGA Tour events and even perhaps some major championships over the next few months uh, and say some crazy things at him. But his caddy, Stevie Williams, and Tiger himself, the two of them are going to have to be on their best behavior without question.
certainly he'll be prepared for that kind of treatment. And finally, Steve, you, you alluded to this early on, but let me ask you again, what do you think it will take to win back some of his sponsors that he's lost as a result of this and win back his fans? Well, I've thought this all along, Katie, for the last three and a half months. The situations are not analogous, but with the situation with Kobe Bryant, he came back, he got himself into the good graces of the American sports public because he played at a high level, and eventually, after minding his P's and Q's, obviously, you have to talk about basketball when it pertains to Kobe Bryant because he's such a great player and he's now won a championship with the Lakers last year. If Tiger comes back, minds his P's and Q's, smiles a little bit, acts nicely, signs autographs, does what he needs to do with his corporate sponsors and the fans and the television partners and the media, and he also plays at a high level and wins, I don't think that there's anything that the American public can do and the media can do but talk about his golf. So I think that's the best way. You need to act nicely off the course and you need to win big time on the course. It's a great combination for Tiger Woods. Steve Sands of Golf Channel. Steve, thanks so much for your time. We really appreciate it. Anytime, Katie. Thanks.